friends, we are back at the Yoga Connection and we are back with Sally and she's going to show us all sorts of poses and things that we can do on our mats. So hi, it's us again, Malachi and myself here back at the studio at the Yoga Connection. So give me a high five. Malachi's awesome. He's a great little uh, student here at the Yoga Connection. So I'm super excited. So let's just get some wigglies out. So we went through breath in one segment, and then we did a little salutation in a second segment. And so today we're gonna bring you some actual yoga poses, but we never wanna lose sight of uh, what we've already learned. So we're building on that. So we're gonna remember Malachite, let's just do some breath work here. So we're gonna inhale, smelling the flowers, and we're gonna exhale, blowing out the candle. So inhale in through the nose, and exhale, blow the candle out through the mouth. And one more time, inhale through the nose, and blow the candle out through the mouth. Good job. So let's just take, uh, and let's just run in place, Malachi, because I think we got, we're a little excited about doing this, so we just wanna get some of our jitteries out. So we can really be focused here and really practice our yoga and bring it to stillness. So before we go any further, let's just be a starfish. So jump your legs wide apart. So just jump, take your hands out to the side. Good job. And from here, we're just going to fold forward. So we're gonna bend our starfish. So just fold yourself all the way down. Bring your top little sparkly stars to your bottom little sparkly stars and fold over. Go ahead, put a nice bend in your knees, Malachi. Re release your hands, let go, and come all the way back up. All the way back up, keep your belly pulled in and stretch. Go ahead and bring your hands all the way back down by your side. Heel and toe, bring the heels and the toes, good job. Come all the way up to the front of the mat. So before we go into any actual poses in yoga, you wanna do a little warm up. So there was a couple of things that you could do. We're gonna also throw in that sun salutation again, because uh, as a yoga instructor, I think that is the best way to create some heat so that we don't cause any injury to our bodies. We're stretching, elongating all those tendons and muscles within the body. I think this is awesome that we start so young and have this knowledge about our bodies and how to keep ourselves safe. So uh, Malachi, from here, we're gonna do that little sun salutation here, just warming up the body. So take the hands right by your side. Inhale, bring the hands all the way up. Rotate, turn those palms, put a bend in your knees and come all the way forward. Yeah, take your hands, put them right here on your legs and lift your head up. Straighten those legs. Can you straighten the legs? Good job. Lower your hands, place them right down on the mat. Go ahead and take your right foot back, Malachi. So you your hands, yep. And now take the left foot back, coming into plank pose. So really important to keep the neck. So we always wanna look here, you strong, look right here. So it's an extension of the spine. Uh, from here, push yourself all the way back into a downward facing dog. So you're gonna walk the feet up just a little bit and feel back. You can go ahead and pump or walk your dog and pump those legs. Bring that to stillness. Look up to the front of your mat, Malachi, and bring the right foot and then bring the left foot. Go ahead, take your hands right by the side. Inhale all the way up and waterfall those hands right down by your side. Good job. So now our bodies are a little warmed up and we're gonna start with some yoga poses. So the first pose we're gonna do is a warrior pose. And Malachi and I were talking about what is a warrior. Uh, a warrior, he said, is someone that battles, which is true. But it doesn't mean you inflict pain or you're mean to anybody. It could mean I'm battling for my spelling test this week. I want to get 100%. You've just become a warrior. You see something and you go after it, and that's what we're going to do here. So come all the way up to the front of your mat. Um, we're just going to come right here from this position. So take the right foot and send it all the way back. 
So to keep these hips nice and neutral, you want to have a heel to heel alignment in a warrior one. So if I drew a black line here, Malachite, would that back heel line up? So just scoot, oh, you can hold my shoulder, scoot this leg over a little back. So there he is. Those hips come nice and forward. So they're a neutral hip. Go ahead and bend the knee. So uh, you never want this knee. So can you come? You never want it to look like this. You want it to come back. You want it to be a 90 degree angle. I didn't know what a 90 degree angle was either mm -hmm. until I started teaching yoga. Go ahead and bring those hands all the way up. Keep that knee bent and look up to the sky. So this is warrior one. Beautiful, it looks perfect. Go ahead and bring your hands all the way back down to your hips. Go ahead and rock a little bit on this knee and gently slide that right foot back to the front of the mat. Awesome, great job. So in yoga, we also learn balance. So balance in our life and in our everyday um, situations. So sometimes if you have a day and the whole day is crabby, you don't feel so good. Uh, or you have a day where you're all happy, 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 you don't feel so good. So you want to create a balance. I don't mean that you have to be sad and happy, but that in between. So yoga teaches us so that we can take that in our everyday life of balance. So we do a left side and then we do a right side. We pull something uh, forward and then we pull it back. We're creating a balance. So now we have to create this balance, Malachi. So we're going to do warrior one on the other side. So let's see if you remember without any help. Go ahead and take your left foot all the way back. So what wants to be in a line? If I drew a black line on your mat, what do you want to be in a line, Malachi? My ankles. The heels. The heels. Close. So turn this foot just slightly in. There you go. So what way do you want your hips? Oops, oops, oops. That happens. So do you want your hips going to the side or do you want them to be coming forward? Forward. That's right. And now I want you to bend your knee. So do you want your knee so you can't see your toes or do you want to see your toes? You want to see your toes. That's right. He's awesome. Go ahead and bring your hands all the way up to the sky. Good. Breathe. Pull your belly in. Pull the belly in. Smell the flowers and blow out the candles. So important. Awesome. Go ahead and release your hands. Bring them back down. Just rock and roll right here. Just a little bit. Gentle movement. Just rock here. And when you're ready, go ahead and slide that back leg up to the front. And good job. So that was warrior one. I'm going to show you warrior two. So go ahead and turn to your side. So turn this way. So yeah. <clears throat> so from here, this is different hips. So come to the middle of your mat, Malachi. So bring your hands right here at your uh, top of your chest. Put a nice bend in your knees, and we're just going to jump it right out. Good job. <laughs> So from here, we're just going to turn our right foot. So turn your right foot just like that. Keep your hands out to the side. And now bend your right knee. Keep your hands to your side. So this is warrior two, because there's lots of different warriors. They all look different, right? If you and me, we look like different warriors, don't we? But we're both warriors because we're both going after something. You're learning yoga, and I'm going after teaching you yoga. Very cool, right? So go ahead and look over your fingertips. This is absolutely a perfect uh, warrior two. So you got this? Are you feeling you're okay? So really important is the alignment of the spine here. This is a 90 degree angle, we want that. So I like to say, your head aligns with your heart, with your hip bones. So it is this line creating this nice uh, length in the spine. So keep that arm up, they burn in a little bit. And go ahead, perfect, Malachite. Go ahead and release your hands down by your side. 
put a little rock in that front knee and slide that back leg all the way up to the front of the mat. Good job. So we got to create balance. So we're going to go and go to the other side. So I'll stay over here. Here we go. Come right to the center of your mat. Bring your hands right to your chest. Bend your knees. Uh, ready? We're going to jump it all the way out. Good job. And go ahead and turn now the other side. So that would be your left foot, right? Bend your knee. You can slide that back foot if you need to. You are so good. Go ahead and turn and look over your fingers. Why do we turn to look over our fingers? Because that thing, that warrior thing that you're going after is right here. So it is getting your spelling words correct this week. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's so you don't make mom um, be so crabby at you. That maybe you come right home and do your homework. Maybe, I don't know. So right here, it's right there, you got it. Go ahead, bring your hands, stand by your side, rock on your knee, and slide that back leg to the front of the mat. Good job. Go ahead and turn yourself around. So that was warrior one and warrior two. From here, I'm going to have you just go all the way.